also today we've been lucky to be blessed with the company of Mr. Edward O'Donoghue, who is uh, the Shadow Mis Minister for Corruption, Safety and Community Safety, and also Police. So I'd like to welcome him to have a few words. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, Maria, and to you and George and everyone who's put uh, today on. You send a very powerful message by your presence here, by your message. Uh, you send a strong message to the Parliament uh, and to the broader community that we need change. I'd like to particularly acknowledge Olivia and just say, Olivia, you show just in such enormous courage and strength. I can only imagine the pain uh, and the suffering when you lose a loved one in such horrible, tragic circumstances. To have the courage to pick yourself up and campaign for change is an inspiration. And I think having known Maria and George and the Cronins for some time, uh, there is so much we can learn from victims of crime, their attitude to life and the courage they have, the courage to campaign for change for a better society. Let me say, with regards to Jalal's law, some things are above politics and some things need to be dealt with so that change happens. From my perspective as the Shadow Minister for Police and Corrections, we have a, a, a bipartisan hand to the government and anyone else, anyone else who wants to work with us to see the change that is that must be delivered to make sure this situation does not does not happen again. But more broadly, to pick up uh, Matt's point, we need to put victims at the centre of the justice system. For too long, for too long, victims have come second. In fact, victims have come third, fourth or fifth. Sometimes an afterthought in plea bargaining and other arrangements that should have victims first. Woo! Yeah. There's an old saying that justice delayed is justice denied. But it takes three, three and a half years for court matters to be concluded. And then they're appealed and they're on foot for another year or two. Is that justice? No. Is that justice for anyone? No. We need a dramatic change to the way we approach justice in the community. The way we approach justice for victims. And it's about time, it's about time that victims were put first. And this is not a political rally, but if I am lucky enough to be part of the next government of Victoria, one of the driving motivations for us will be, to, will be to put victims first each and every time when it comes to the justice system. So I just want to again acknowledge and thank uh, Olivia for her courage and her family. Uh, you put the day-to-day -day issues we all deal with into perspective and the fact you are here to speak with your family is a remarkable example to all of us and you show great courage and the least we can do in return as legislators is to honour Jalal's memory and make the changes that are necessary to make sure this does not happen again. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.